What's good guys, Justo Farm here. Today for you guys, got a Princess Auto 7 inch diamond wheel bench mount saw. Picked it up for around $59.99 on sale from Princess Auto. And I don't think you guys can get a better deal than that because the blades go more than that. This one's special, I don't know if all of them carry this one. Like it's been repackaged and there's a sticker right here that shows that it includes four diamond blades. And you guys can see it's like a sticker on top. And I searched in like the bigger Princess Auto manual and I didn't see this exact one with the four diamond model with the four diamond blades included so I guess they don't really sell it and I asked them as well so this is exclusive for I guess that store or however many stores and the cool thing about this one is it has a 7 inch blade diameter it runs at 3600 rpm 120 volt 3.75 amp is the power has a cutting depth of 1.34 inches max suitable for cutting granite marble brick concrete, tile, and other non-metal material. It has a built-in reservoir for wet cutting application and the table tilts for 45 angle, 45 degree angle cuts. So that's one of the reasons I picked it up. For the price, making the 45 degree angle cuts and being a wet tile saw, you can't go wrong. Cause I'm currently gonna be installing like, probably like 100 square foot of tiles in my cold room. So I just needed something quick to do it. Just finish up the job. So. Without further ado, let's finish up, start the unboxing. <laughs> Got the blade, let's open this thing up. Alright, let me just tilt this over. So, so far, right when you guys open up, it looks like we got the diamond blades on top. I think they're packed, yep, they're packed individually. As you guys can see. Those are the sizes. That's the size that it is. So one, two, three. We have three diamond blades. You put them aside. It does say it includes four diamond blades, as you guys can see right there. So maybe the fourth one's already loaded in. Never know. There's nothing in there. I guess this was supposed to be in there, I guess. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put that part over there. We have this piece right here. I believe this is the wall where the tile goes and you put your edge against. So let's put that on the side. Right now I'm just gonna be pulling everything out right now and then putting it aside and then I'm gonna show you guys everything individually. We have this plastic piece coming out of here. Okay, don't lift it so high. I All can't right. see them properly. So, I think right here we have already pre-oiled and greased. Or, they're not greased, they're pre-oiled wrenches and these plastic rubbery screws. they a plastic base. Cardboard out. Here's the power fist, diamond wheel, bench mount saw, owner's manual. So you guys can go through this when you guys buy it. Just to see how to set it up and everything to install it. And you're going to need those tools. I'm just showing. So let me put that aside for now. And let's pull out this thing. Alright guys, I pulled the tile saw out of the box and right away you guys can see, I think there is a blade there, so I'm gonna be careful. Let me try pulling most of this plastic off. Peel this. Wow. It's already oil on it. It's so smooth. Shiny. Reflective. Yep. And... I believe this on the side. I'll figure out how to pull it out. It's be hard to show. I'm not gonna give you guys a little tilt. There. That's where the water reservoir goes in. Awesome. As you guys can see. Yep. Let me just slide that back in. And it will just go under there and it'll has a pump under there. The controls are over here guys. For on and off. 
and then you remove this thing to lock it. This is where you can angle it. Okay. Over here. Here's all the specifications, just to let you guys know about the model and all the amps and stuff from the if you guys throw away the box. And then give it one more turn around. This side. Here we go. We have the plug. Where the plug is with ground. That's always good. It's a nice gauge wire. It's always good to have one. And as you guys can see, I believe there's the fan right there on that side. Did it just open? Oh, I believe it. So this, oh yeah, it's not locked, guys. So I think it just went to the 45 degree angle but pattern. Wow. I think. I'm not too sure. I never used a wet towel sock before. <laughs> or it we did. have. It or did. It went to the It's been a degree. long time. Since we used a wet towel saw. So last time we used it in our old house to cut some grey night towels. Alright guys, let me show you how to install everything. So it came with this piece, and this is just like the, the edge guard of your wall as you guys are making your tile cuts and stuff. Yeah, just put it a little lower. Yeah. So you guys will put it over right here on this side. And it will just you guys will turn this right here. Turn it. And then you would just push down and it locks. Perfect. So let me just make sure it's straight. I set it up on eight inches there, eight inches over there. Uh, lock down. And I can almost tighten it and adjust it later on accordingly. Right now I'm not doing anything. Also, came with a blade guard, guys. Let me open that. A little plastic over there. And this is your tool list. So you guys would just unscrew this. And this it's already threaded in there, plastic. They have a, a little bit of Loctite. And it's a hex bolt. So this will just go on this, guys. Well, they didn't really thread it in there. As you, like, you guys know what I mean, the spacing, yep. the hex spacing. So let me just put this on real quickly, and I'll show you guys how it looks. All right, guys, so I pretty much lined it up. So I'm just hand tightening it, just until it feels right. You guys don't want to have it too tight. Just so it stays up as well when not in use. Perfect. And also, the tools that came with, guys, these are for changing the blade. Let's take these out real quick. As you guys see, it's all oiled up in there. These are the two tools that came with. Two different sizes to change the blade. And also, let me put it right back in the oil. Came with four of these rubber pieces, guys, as you guys can see. And these are have to do with changing the blade or I think or no these go right underneath of the stand guys so I'll show you I'll put them underneath and I'll show you guys after in a little bit and also the blades aside that's the one blade and these are the other three that are come with this so those are the four blades most towel cutter saws I guess they don't really come with the blade you have to always buy one separately and this piece right here me and my brother are trying to figure out what this was and we decided that it has to be to push the tile into like cutting that so yeah. like if I would have something like this piece right here you yeah, would put, put your fingers there and I guess push it other way the other way I think this way? yeah because it'll be cutting yeah and then it'll cut up to here okay. to that point okay okay I guess that'll probably be right right? yeah Alright, so I guess that's probably the way we'll have to do it, or how we use it, we'll probably figure it out. And so that's what it comes with. And let me just flip it over guys, and I'll show you guys how to install that thing. Alright guys, so we flipped it around, to so show you the bottom four holes that I was talking about. So you get your little baggie, your oil baggie. And you pull out your four things in there. And these are rubber, and these should just slide right in here. So I'll push one in there. Should use the next one right there. And just push right in. And now it shouldn't make any noises or anything. If you guys are putting this into your whatever, like in your shed or your workshop, and you guys have like a bench, wooden bench, you can like not have to put these and just screw it in so it won't move around. Yeah, that's. But that's if you're putting it on a wood. It's highly that you're really going to be doing that because then like the wood's going to get all wet and stuff like that. But let me just flip it right back around. 
All right, guys. So we flipped it back over, and now I'm just gonna show you guys the blades. Came with. So if you guys are wondering, took it out of the packaging. These are the four blades that it comes with. Very nice. I wouldn't say they're the best quality, but at least it comes with something, right? If you're cutting granite or marble, I would definitely recommend getting a better blade. But for porcelain or ceramic, using a wet tile saw is it's a benefit. You don't even have to. But don't forget, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and check out my other YouTube videos and my other unboxings. And I'm going to have more unboxings soon, guys. Take care.